So we're here today to talk about Biodiversity 2020. That's the government's strategy for wildlife, for our nature across England, for our species and our habitats. We're halfway through this strategy. It was set out in 2011. Now 2015, how are we getting on? Well, the truth is we're doing okay, but we need to do a lot better if we're actually going to meet the ambitions of this strategy. And who is the we in this? Well, it's not government alone. In fact, it cannot be delivered by government on its own. We've got to bring together a whole range of partners Some of our most important sites have been identified as our sites of special scientific interest. They cover about 8% of the country, and you can see that they're dotted across the country. They're fantastically important sites for our wildlife. They hold some of our most important habitats and many of our important species. Some of those sites are national nature reserves, open to the public. So we're here today in this beautiful site down in Kent, the Wye Downs, a national nature reserve, fantastic chalk grassland, woodland, and we're here today to see how this site is supporting wildlife. But not just that, how it is part of a much bigger project across the landscape to restore our wildlife. So you can see here the chalk scarp of Wye Down coming down into the valley on both sides. This grassland is internationally important, not just important in the UK but across Europe. And the reason it's so important is because of the species it supports. It can support up to 40 species in one square metre of grassland. It supports fantastic reptiles, fantastic butterflies. In fact, some of the butterflies here are incredibly rare. Some of the moths are incredibly rare. We've got the uh, Chalk Hill Blue that produces its larvae and leaves them on the ground to be looked after by the ants. But the Duke of Burgundy is another. And the Duke of Burgundy, you can see right over there, that's a key patch for the Duke of Burgundy. And there are only about 10 or 11 colonies uh, in Kent that are supporting the Duke of Burgundy butterfly now. Now Dan Tooson's here with me today from Natural England who's been working on with this with butterfly conservation with this butterfly. So Dan come and tell me tell me about the work you've been doing to support the Duke of Burgundy. So we're working with farmers and estates uh, within this area around the reserve. The, the site here is monitored along with the other 11 or 12 colonies that exist in the area. This site isn't enough on its own and you're starting to help that butterfly, the population that's here and on the other 10 sites or so, help it join up and, uh, and, and create more space for it, is that right? That's right, it's, it's, it's got to be about reconnecting the landscape uh, and the, the stewardship schemes that we deliver are uh, absolutely fundamental to that. Um, it takes a lot of work to get farms involved in the scheme and then working with them year by year to increase the habitat that they're managing and, and creating. Yeah. We need those sites to be better for wildlife, to be bigger, to be joined up, and without doing that, we will continue to see our species decline. In fact, that's where we are at the moment. We're starting to move to make these sites bigger, better, more, and joined. And if we do that, we can turn around the declines that we've seen. Declines in our woodland butterflies, our woodland uh, birds, the, the species of butterfly here. And now we're going to go to a farmer who's right next door to this reserve, who's doing some fantastic work for the wildlife, starting to make this site part of a much bigger network absolutely essential work for the Duke of Burgundy over there. Uh, for the past 10 years I have been in the countryside stewardship scheme of which I have thoroughly enjoyed uh, being participating in where we have put in hedges, we've built ponds and uh, certainly with six metre margins so we've created the buffer strips around the arable fields but I wanted to continue that good work that we had done for the last two uh, for the last 10 years and so with the help of Dan Tucson and, and Natural England, uh, we've entered the higher level scheme and expanded on the countryside stewardship scheme that was already in place. And although I am a commercial farmer and I agree with commercial farming, uh, the environment and environmental habitats play a very important part. So the fantastic work that George is doing is really important. 
and that's being repeated across the landscape to start trying to bring together these patches of habitat that are supporting these rare butterflies and the other species to start interlinking them, to start making a network of sites. And this isn't restricted just to these wonderful rural areas, but this is absolutely right in the heart of our urban areas as well. So we all have a part to play to deliver the biodiversity strategy, Biodiversity 2020. We all have a part to play to support our wildlife. Now the first thing we can do is visit it. Go out and see these beautiful national nature reserves. Get out and see them. Enjoy them. They are part of our history and they need to be part of our future. Shout about the great work we're doing. We're doing some fantastic work for our wildlife. Let's start talking about it. Talk about it to your friends, your colleagues, the partners we work with. But we also need to do more. It is not enough just to work on our protected sites. We have to go think bigger than that. We have to move beyond that. And to do that, we need to work in new ways, with new partners. And if we are lucky, if we pull this off, we won't just be protecting something that's been here for thousands of years. We will be protecting something into the future, for generations to come. <laughs>